Hi guys, this is Rikishi and welcome back to my channel for episode 9 in the Torque Drift Beginner's Guide series. Today's video is going to be how to win the Yard Freestyle every time you play it. Remember to check out the other episodes in the playlist, link will be in the description. And something should pop up top right hand corner of your screen about the playlist. Let's roll the intro. Before we get into how to complete the freestyle successfully, let me share some important information first. You are to remember two key steps in being successful against the box. First, the points must run for the entire minute the freestyle lasts. From the moment you end your multiplayer drift, say goodbye to first place. Unless you get super lucky and win by a few thousand points. What I mean by ending your multiplayer drift is either straightening out to lose multiplayer or if you hit any of the walls too hard or if you hit a lamp post. Another thing to note is it doesn't matter if you don't get the yellow clipping points, you can win a freestyle easily with just gaining white clipping points and getting close call bonus points by running the walls. So before even selecting the yard freestyle, you have to go to your graphics options so that would be settings, then quality, then scroll to the bottom and disable all environment objects. You would be changing that option so you'll be able to run the back wall by the garage entry. As you can see in the picture on your screen, on the left is environment objects on and on the right are environment objects off. Now I'll show you a quick run through of the line I used to get a top 10 leaderboard run. You're going to pick up speed in a straight line, then initiate just before the clipping point by the lamp post. Then transition to run the wall and don't be too aggressive on the wall or you'll lose your multiplayer. Keep the car in drift to get the next clipping point and make sure you have a responsive clutch that you can use because you'll be coming in the next clipping point with a lot of speed. Use the clutch to pull off a reverse entry and get as close as possible to the wall transition and get the next clipping point and remember to keep the car close to the wall. Keep the car in drift and wrap it around the two stretches of lamp posts then run the wall again. Use clutch to scrub off speed and go deep enough to get the clipping point. Run the back wall and extend the drift to the side wall, transition and get the next clipping point then wrap around the two stretches of lamp posts. Keep following that line until all the time is up. I'm going to put this in motion now and show you how it's done on mobile. So you've seen me completed the freestyle on the yard on mobile. I managed to win with 170,000 points. The bots usually get around 140,000 points, but if you want to be higher on the leaderboards, you have to run the walls consistently. 
As I said, that was a freestyle run on mobile. Now here's one on the PC platform. So there you have it, completing the yard freestyle successfully on both mobile and PC platforms. Next Thursday, you can look out for episode 10 in the beginner's guide on how to win drift shifters freestyle every time you play it. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, comment and tell me your thoughts. Remember you can check out the playlist for more in the beginner's guide. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Check out my socials in the description below as well and don't forget to like the video and subscribe and turn on post notifications for future uploads. Be safe everyone. Peace.